Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and we are starting this week's episode with a 75 year old car. It's not actually 75 years old, it's the 75th anniversary Defender in Grasmere Green. We was gonna do a manufacturing update, but we have some news for you. An incident happened here yesterday, and we was lucky enough to catch it on camera, weren't we, Reese? Yeah, we were. Roll VT. Right, and for those who missed it, I'm just gonna run it one more time, because it was hilarious, go. So, just so you know, Lenny is okay. There's a bit of damage on the concrete, but it's all good. I've come over for a manufacturing update with Reese. If you don't recognize Reese from season one, he heads up our manufacturing division for side steps, and we have some exciting news, don't we, Reese? We do indeed. And what is that exciting news, Reese? We've got a new step pad for the new Range Rover and new Range Rover Sport. So yeah, so this step pad fits L460 and L461. It's a new design, it's Reese's design. I have had nothing to do with it. So if it's rubbish, it's nothing to do with me, but if it's great, I'll take the credit a little bit later on in the show. <laughs> so before you start to give me the waffle on this, this is beautiful. Thank you. It's took a lot it's of It's like, I mean, it's like literally like night and day with the last one. Listen, I'm not an engineer, but I can tell if this is millimeter perfect to shoot something perfect then like there's a big congratulations to you and the team for this yeah no it's, it's gone really well the lads have been so helpful we've all come up with ideas for it how long does it normally take to warm the tool up then sometimes it takes about an hour it's been on for about 45 minutes do you get a sneak peek of the design now so yeah oh this is yeah get warm now so you, all you need yeah. is an insert in here so it needs a little bit longer you wouldn't believe there's so much that goes into a sidestep would you this could all go wrong, like really bad. And it could be very embarrassing. This is fine adjustment, by the way. <laughs> We've been stressful, but we're, we're getting to the point now where we could be cooking with gas. So you can see the design here. We'll give you some little close-ups now. And we're gonna shoot the first one. We'll be back in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. What if this all goes wrong and Sarah makes me look silly? What if it goes wrong? I'll be a genius. Everybody will be well impressed. You look like Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna take no glory for this because it's manifested how cool this is going to be. This is the birth of the new urban Range Rover step. <laughs> wow, that was so cheesy. <laughs> like, when did we become cheesy for? Right, let's get this out of the tool. 
So we got under all the bolts. So these are the same bolts that hold the step to the car as well. So it helps us with shooting, but also helps to put them on the car. <laughs> the back side of the step, and then the real moment of truth is when we pull the step out and flip it over. Dun 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 dun, dun. under pressure. <laughs> oh Here it comes, you ready? Oh. Popped out the mould. Are we ready for the new step? <laughs> There's lots of fingers oh. being crossed over here. It's a nervous time. That is a new yeah, step. Yeah, baby! That is pretty cool, if you ask me, mate. Boom! Yeah, boy! Come that on, was right, the birth it? of the new urban step. That was all right, wasn't it? It wasn't cheesy, it was like, yeah! Well done, mate. That's Credit right, credit's it? due to the team producing that. Awesome coming to a car near you. So 75th anniversary Defender, limited run by Land Rover, comes in 90 and 110, but also covers, I believe, two engine derivatives, which is a D300 and also the P400 PHEV. Finished in limited Grasmere Green, which is kind of like homage to one of the original Defenders 75 years ago. Now we actually did a similar Defender to this in the old style, and it's given me some ideas for what I'm gonna do to this one. So let's start by having a look at the interior because I think they've done half the job for us on this one, which is pretty cool. So this is one of the first 75th editions in the country. Um, the lucky owners just dropped it off and we've just had a half hour session on what we're gonna do to the car. And we went backwards and forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. And at the end of it, they basically just said, you know what you're doing, you do exactly what you want on the car. I'm actually super impressed with the inside. It's almost like how we would do a car when we're modifying it. It comes with the, the black hockey sticks, which are standard in the V8. So it's got this like black stealth look to the center console. All of the dash, with the exception of the green detailing, is black as well. So we don't have to take all of the dash out and paint the silver bits. It's a little bit like chalk and cheese to the outside because the outside is very retro, silver, green wheels. But inside it's super modern. You've got the 75th anniversary stickers in the side, which kind of like just give you a little bit of a feel that the car's a little bit different as you open the doors. Steering wheel is all black. Lovely Napa lever on the seat, steering wheel and the gear stick as well. Black roof lining and pan roof. So this car is almost exactly how we would spec a car internally. So I don't think we're actually gonna have to do anything with the interior. I think it's more about the outside. So the outside, one thing that's a little bit frustrating for us is the fact that all of the lower body moldings are still in stippled plastic. Obviously it's more work for us and we've got to decide now whether we go for color coding or whether we go for gloss black. Now I'm thinking if we pay respect to our Keswick stroke Grasmere modern that we did in the past with the old car, we're gonna dress this up with lots of gloss black. We do gloss black lettering, gloss black grill, the bumpers and all of the lower moldings, if we apply our wide track package, it's gonna look a big, beefy, heritage, modern beast. So the last question is the wheels. Obviously, it comes in green. We'll add our wheels to the build, but do we do them in gloss black? Do we do them in grassmere green? Our partner Absolute in the Netherlands have already built one similar to this. Now, before the special edition came out, they actually painted it themselves. They've done a full build, fully color coded with green wheels. So I'm edging towards gloss black, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. So get in the comments, green wheels or black wheels, you tell us.
This is the new CEO in the making. This is a little hand signal for I want a drink, isn't it, darling? When you want a drink, you do that, don't you? And you say bye-bye to people. Yeah, you come into Pi Exchange, your defender. So this is available for sale. It's, um, it's only done about 3,000 odd miles. Um, it's fu fully spec, wide track, front A bar, canards, light, the whole, every option that we do. It's ready to go. Now we're keeping the wrap on for five days. What is it underneath black? Santorini black. Oh, okay, yeah. fine. So but that's brand we, new paint underneath. Brand new paint brand underneath. New. It was done. It was done from new. The only reason we're keeping it like this for a few days, just in case someone wants something a bit more individual, but it will go to black. Mm -hmm. But we have about 10 black defenders in stock. So kind of that's why we wanted to give it a bit of time. Lenny at urban-automotive.co.uk. If this is of interest, you've got five days to have it in this color. Five days from video time. From video time. Yeah. Lola's come into Pi Exchange, her Defender, for a new G-Wagon. And just for the record, this isn't my daughter, this is my granddaughter. I am Pops. That's my name. Granddad sounds very old, doesn't it? And this is Mrs. D. <laughs> <laughs> she's all camera shy because she's getting her new car and she doesn't want me to make a big thing of it, but I'm making a big thing of it. <laughs> and it's very rare for her to have a new car because she's had a Defender for, what, 18 months now? Long, yeah, time. long time, long time. I love time. my Defender. Yeah. Wait! <laughs> Is it under there? It is, well, what, what, what do you think? There's a box shaped object underneath a cover that looks like a G-Wagon and you're getting a G-Wagon. So that must be it. You can help me pull. Here we go. Go! Oh my God. These wheels, darling, have a lower profile tire <laughs> to the Defender. You've done really well with Defender wheels. Mind you, so I was well. the last person to wreck the your wheels. The only time <laughs> the wheels have been really is when you drove it and then when Reese drove it. So, so yeah. me and Reese basically yeah. wrecked her wheels. Yeah. I don't think these ones will last that long, you know. Oh my God, it's incredible. So this is uh, the Mercedes G400. It's the diesel version of the car. She didn't want the petrol one. It's a bit too beefy, yeah? You called it beefy, didn't you? Too beefy. Yeah, yeah, too beefy. So it's G400, diesel version. It's got a soft kit. It's got a G63 bumper upgrade as well. So it looks the part, but it's a bit more economical on fuel as well. <laughs> <laughs> I do know how to drive. <laughs> What's this? So yeah, this, you, you basically put your foot on the brake. You pull down and go into drive. Okay, don't I'm not going to do, don't do that. it now. No, no, no. no, no, no. It's the front. What do you think? Oh. Fancy. It's amazing. Happy? It's, it's the dream car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It yeah. is the dream. Very smart. Right. Wow, off she goes. And we're going to finish this honker? video. We're going to finish this video, and you're going to do this to command to say goodbye to everyone. Say bye bye. <laughs> Can say you bye -bye. say bye bye? Say bye bye. Say bye. Can you say bye bye? Yay! <laughs> perfect! You're a star in the making! <laughs> Did you get it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah. yes. She likes it. <laughs>So, as I said earlier in the video, um, Lenny's customer came in, they kind of gave us like, look, this is a bit of a one-off, it's a bit of a special, do what you want with it. Mm. And the conversations we've had in the background with Tom and the media team, and we're thinking, it's our 10th anniversary this year, are we gonna do something a little bit more special? So we've gone from just doing a wide track build to like putting an XRS bonnet Going on all with out. green vents, yeah, yeah, yeah. black roof. It needs to, I mean, it's a special, it's a special thing. Obviously we, we sort of half did it with a nightly hardtop van. Um, Back that was in kind the of day. a heritage look with the white roof. Oh, and, oh our new one you um, mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, but we could really make something special out of this. And the fact that it is a special edition and make it a one-off, a one-off one. So I don't want to do it as a limited run because obviously these cars are rare anyway mm. so we don't actually know how many cars we're going to get yeah. so i don't want to put a number on it like 65 because we would never be able to fulfill it mm -hmm. but we do want to individualize it yeah i think from what we've said it's going to get xrs bonnet mm -hmm. but with grassmere green vents on a black bonnet we're going to do like some side detailing on the side with the xrs side vent but remastered 
okay. as a bit of a yeah. heritage look. And we're gonna go with 23 inch UC4s, but I was thinking, either like a detail in the spoke, like so black wheel yeah. with a green detail in the spoke or a green ring, green around, rim. ring around the outside. See, I like the idea of the green rim because that shows the size of the It makes the it look big, doesn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But if he was going to do it the other way around, you know, you lose a little bit of size in black wheels, but the green, green rim, that shows the yeah. 23 inch. So that's a really cool idea. Yeah. So it's kind of, so it's not really uh, like a four by four off-road ruggy type look. We're going sporty with this heritage. We're going, we're going like, so we did, back in the day, we did a Keswick modern which was the Keswick green fused with like modern design so we're going to do that make it a little bit more special we've got to speak to Sam in the body shop about doing the wheels mm -hmm. and how he's going to do it yeah I'm but, really excited for this one it's so cool I know but we what are we going to call it <laughs> U75 I mean, we've, this the, is, the U75 the, the U75 75. edition because it's their 75th year yeah we're 10 years old 75-10 the 85 know. then the 85 <laughs> <laughs> 75, 75 plus, plus 10, plus 10. <laughs> I mean it, Ideas, guys. Get get in the comments and tell us what we should call it. Like the signature edition, mm. autograph edition, like individual limited, like all of yeah, those. Yeah, get things. in the comments and like just blast out what you think because that's it, it's open to quite a, a, a lot of. I'm different sure modes. we're gonna get Green Goblin, the Hulk. We are now. Aren't we? No, we, we are can't now. do it now because I've suggested it, so I can't do it now. Yeah, no, have a good thing. Seventy-five plus ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm excited for that one. That's gonna be cool. So let's skip back seven days. This, this is Young Philly's G63 with full urban soft kit. It was in for a snow blue wrap in the Yanomise Bay, but I didn't want to miss the opportunity to show you this alongside the full wide track that we handed over at the same time. So this is the ideal opportunity with these two cars in really cool wrap colors to show you the differences between the two. So as you can see, there are some carryover parts on both cars. The carbon ball nose bonnet is the same, the roof lights are the same, and the upper spoiler is the same. It's really just the lower body that makes it different. Now on young Philly's car, he opted for the body colored bonnet with the carbon vents, but on the wide track car, as you know, he went for the full carbon bonnet with color coded vents. And these options, they all just come down to customer preference, what they prefer, and what kind of look you want to go for in the end, whether you want fully color coded or whether you want to break it up with lots of carbon and black. So here we are, soft kit G versus wide track G. Oh, it looks mad. The grip looks nuts. <laughs> God, is so good, you know. I come from humble beginnings, you know. Absolute nothing. How dare I own this car? I'm taking the f Thank you, boys, yeah? Thank you for the wrap, man. I appreciate it, for real. Did an amazing job. No, those wheels are absolutely amazing, man. They are now. Like, the man that created them, flipping, oh, he needs a pay rise, innit? You don't get a pay rise, you know why? Because he's the boss. 
Doesn't need to, yeah. It's called Never, cyber. what? You actually created them? Yeah, it's no, his I swear to God yeah, that you thought of that design. Brother, well done. Seriously, jokes aside, they are amazing. <laughs> That's proper sick. What are you doing, mate? I just, I was leaving, on, I was playing with it and it, and it, fell, uh, yeah. it fell down a couple of inches and I thought, This is I'll what we do, it. mate. We, we, they put it together, we take it apart and then we put it back together again in a way that they don't like. Is that fair to say? <laughs> I think that's, I think Especially that's Especially with this, obviously this has got a little bit of heritage to it. Heritage to it. It's the 75th anniversary edition. Obviously we went through what we think that we're gonna do earlier. Get in the comments and tell us whether we're doing the right thing, the wrong thing, is it sacrilege? I don't know, but word travels fast that someone knew that we've got this here and we've already had our second booking for whatever we're gonna do to it. Get heritage in. edition, the, 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 the urban heritage, the U75, the 75U. U-1. Yeah. The U85 because Tom it's come up with a good there. idea earlier. Well, the remastered edition. Ooh, remastered. See, that's why. So that's why Tom's on the big bucks, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. why he's like he's El head Capitan, of market, yeah. El Bosh. Capitan of marketing. Bosh. Anyway, that's it for this week. Do the normal. Click the bell, the button, the subscribe, and do all the things that make us all happy, so we get to 100,000. 68. We ticked over to 68. That's well, good. Earlier I on, want the plaque. That's no. I want that. Uh, uh, like, Are we going to store it in half because we're a duo? <laughs> Not I want the plaque. I want the plaque for us. Uh, us. Yeah. yeah. We, we, you we can, need. You, you can take it home at weekends. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. Yeah. It's like we'll a trophy when you win a trophy. Yeah. You can take it home. Hundred thousand subscribers. That's that's the that's the that is the goal. So if you if you're just watching and not subscribing. <laughs> that's a great noise. I know. I like a ding. <laughs> <laughs>